I'm going to show you guys how to find the exact values of some trig functions, and this time, these angles right here, they are the quadrantal angles. What that means is that when we draw the picture, we will end up either on the x-axis or the y-axis. So in these situations, we cannot really use the reference triangle because we cannot have a triangle in the first place. <laughs> so what we have to do is, we have to utilize the idea behind the unit circle. And utilize the idea behind the unit circle, especially for the quadrantal angles like this, all right? Let me show you with the first one. Here we have sine of negative pi. And we know right away, we have to convert this into degrees if you want to change that to degrees so we can understand better, right? We know pi is 180 degrees, right? Therefore, altogether, this is negative 180 degrees. So, from the picture that we usually have, Let's do down the x and y axis. Negative 180 degrees, that means you go from here, you turn it this way, right here, right? It will be this point here. Well, because I know I cannot have a reference triangle, in this case, let me just put on my unit circle like this, all right? This is my unit circle. That means the radius has to be 1. And we have negative 180 degrees. That means I will turn from here, right? And then this is my 180 degrees right here. And I will look at this point, right? And let me indicate that this is negative 180 degrees. In fact, it's the same as past the 180 degrees when you turn this way. But technically, we're doing this. Anyways, this is the point that we're interested, right? This coordinate here, it will be the x value is negative 1. So let's put down negative 1. And the y value is 0. Remember, x comma y. X is in front of y, right? And cosine comma sine. C is in front of s, right? That's a quick way to remember it. So anyways, here, the zero right here, it will give you the sine value, and that will tell you sine of negative pi. So there we have it. Sine of negative pi will be just zero, and this right here is it. And let's look at the next one. We have cotangent, okay? C-O-T, this is cotangent of 3 pi over 2. Well, um, first of all, per perhaps we can practice some identity business. Right here, cotangent of something, cotangent is the same as cosine of this 3 pi over 2 over sine of that. Right, so we have to remember this identity is really well. Cotangent is the same as cosine over sine. And the reason is because we are just going to be using just like this, x comma y, cosine comma sine, right? That's why I rewrite this in terms of cosine over sine. All right, 3 pi over 2. So let's go ahead and convert it, 3 pi over 2. And we multiply by 180 degrees over pi. This time, we'll have to really just do some work, right? Because earlier, it was just pi, which is 180, and then negative, negative. But this right here, we really have to do some work. Anyways, cancel, cancel. And you can just reduce, multiply, whichever way you want. 2 and um, become, you know, 2 and 180 become 90. And 90 times 3 is 270. 270 degrees. OK, so in this case, 3 pi over 2 is the same as 270 degrees. And then I will just draw the picture here. And I will just form my unit circle here first. The radius is equal to 1. This is 0 degrees, uh, pi over 2, namely 90, and then pi, namely 180. And here is the 270, namely 3 pi over 2 as well. So let me indicate this right here. It's a 3 pi over 2 which is the same as 270 degrees, okay? But anyways, this is the point that we need to know. Okay, we need to know the x comma y. This right here, we don't go to left, we don't go to right, right? So the x value here is 0, and the y value is down below here on the unit circle, so it's negative 1. And remember, this is going to give you the cosine value, this is going to give you the sine value. Okay, so now, uh, let me just put it down here, maybe. Cosine is 0, so let's put down 0, over this right here is sine, which is negative 1. 0 over negative 1, guess what? It is still 0, right? So this is still 0. Done. 
Last one, secant of zero, secant is the same as one over cosine. So we are looking at one over cosine of zero. Zero is the same as degree, it's the same as radian, same thing. So go ahead, draw our unit circle. Here is my unit circle. This is the zero degree, zero radius. They happen to be exactly the same. This is the point. And this point right here, it's on the unit circle. So the x value is one and the y value is zero. And the cosine is right here, right? Cosine is the x value and the sine is the y value. But all in all, you see this is one on the top over cosine of zero is this one here. So let me put on one. 1 over 1, of course this is still 1, and there we have it, that's it. So hopefully you guys find this video to be helpful, and this is how you are going to use the idea of the unit circle to help you find the exact values of the sine, cosine, tangent, things like that, when we have a quadrantal angle inside, just like this.